Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be installing Endeavor OS. So we're going to go ahead and boot into our installer here. And there we are. Now we're going to go ahead and just increase the resolution so you can actually see what's going on the screen in, in this video. So it's not bad on the monitor I'm using, but I know as a YouTube video, it's going to be harder to see. So I'm just going to increase the scale of the GUI and everything. All right, so there we go. It's a whole lot easier to see now. Now we, uh, we have this tool here. It has a bunch of other tools you can like change actually has a nice tool right there to change the resolution, um, install tips, a lot of documentation. You can update mirrors, use a partitioning tool, all kinds of great stuff like that. Really all we care about here is starting the installer. So we're going to go ahead and just start the installer right here. And we're going to go ahead and start that up and it will be running in just a second here. All right. We are going to have to choose online or offline. And I think online probably makes more sense. So here we go. Then we're going to continue on. All right. So here's the installer. Welcome to Endeavor OS Mercury Neo installer. Please wait. All right. That, that was um, something else because I accidentally clicked, accidentally clicked on it twice and cut that part out. So we're going to go ahead, American English, uh, English US keyboard layout. And here, this is probably the more interesting part. There are a bunch of different desktops to choose from, or you could go headless, no desktop, but you have Plasma KDE, GNOME, XFCE4, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, LXQT, LXDE, i3 Window Manager, whole bunch of things to choose for. Now you have a lot of other choices you can install manually after installing. So if you don't want one of these, you might just go with no desktop and install them manually. But at that point, it almost, you know, you almost may as well just go with regular arch. But but yeah, this, this lets you basically pick out a pre configured um, desktop with everything that you'd probably want um, just by default. Um, so you don't have to set it up after the fact like you would with arch. So this is kind of the kind of kind of part of the point of using Endeavor OS. So I am actually going to go with Plasma KDE for this. Um, I just felt like that was the best choice here. Now there's a bunch of other software you can go through and select. You can choose the LTS kernel in addition if you want. Um, printing support, more KDE desktop stuff, firewall, spell checker, all sorts of great tools you can choose from, which is, is nice. It's something that you don't get with uh, with Arch Linux, you have to do that manually after install. So it's just a convenience thing, really. Now here you can choose Grub Bootloader or System D Boot or No Bootloader Loader if you somehow want to do it manually yourself or boot from a separate disk or something. Now here you can uh, choose where you want to install it to. If you want to erase the disk, partition it, stuff like that. You can also select, um, like I'm just going to erase the whole disk. Um, I'm, I'm going to select uh, No Swap. Well, I, I don't know. You can go swap or no swap depending on what you need. And you can choose extension 4 or ButterFS, BTRFS. Uh, I'm going no swap ext4 just because it's uh, it's kind of straightforward. I, I know I don't need swap on this system. Uh, but anyways, fill out your username, password, all of that stuff. Basically standard installer stuff. So I'll give it my standard name I use for this system with every OS I've installed on here. Fill in your password and use the same password for the administrator account, that being the root account. Um, this is a personal choice. Um, you decide what's the right security decision for you. And it shows you what changes are going to be made to your partitions. And you click next and it starts installing. So I sped this part up a lot. I, I compressed. Um, I want to say 15 minutes of this installer running. I compressed it all into uh, a, a few seconds. So there we go. It's done and it is now rebooting. There we go. We are at the login screen and notice here, um, Wayland is default. I'm going to select X windows. The reason for that, I actually cut out a big part of this video where I did a lot of troubleshooting. Um, I booted into Wayland by default and because of my, um, uh, my NVIDIA card and the NVIDIA drivers that come with this, the, the Arch or Endeavor OS and uh, Nuvo NVIDIA drivers, just they don't work. I've, I've had Nuvo drivers work on other systems, but yeah, Wayland and Nuvo drivers don't work with my NVIDIA card. So there you go. I uh, So I had a bunch of issues, had to bounce my system a few times, did some troubleshooting, and I eventually 
restarted it back up and um, I'm keeping the part of the video where I just logged in using X Windows, which works. So Wayland is broken with this driver. When I update the driver, Wayland will work totally fine with KDE, but it's basically a combination of Wayland, KDE, and the Nouveau driver. They just don't play well together. If you can either use the fix is to either use X Windows, or if you want to keep using Wayland, you can use GNOME, or the real fix is just to use the proprietary driver instead of the Nouveau driver. Now this comes with the Nouveau driver by default, uh, so you have to install that manually, but that, that's not a big deal. And I forget off the top of my head if they gave you an option to install that. To be fair, I didn't poke around enough in the install options. All right, so anyways, here's FastFetch. Um, shows you uh, some info about the system, but yeah, I did not poke around enough in the uh, software options during install. There might have been something there for pr the proprietary driver. I'm pretty sure there isn't though, but if there isn't, that would have been a good option to include for people who need that. Anyways, yeah, if you have an NVIDIA card, one of the first things you're going to do is just install the proprietary driver. But that is it. That was my experience with Endeavor OS. It's, it's, um, that's my, well, that's my install experience. I have a video where I actually so yeah, I have actually a, a whole separate video where I review Endeavor OS and then yet another video where I show you how to install the NVIDIA drivers. So if you're interested in either of those things, go check those videos out. And also if you want some Arch Linux videos, I have a lot of Arch Linux videos I've done, so you might want to also check those out. But also what you're really going to want to do is hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you actually get an up, get a notification when we come out with new videos because we're coming out with a lot of great new tech, tech content. We're doing Arch stuff. We're reviewing a bunch of different Linux distros. We're doing hardware, software, um, servers, coding, electronics, robots, Raspberry Pis, all kind of great stuff that you don't want to miss out on. So definitely make sure you subscribe and you know, might want to give me a thumbs up, but definitely leave a comment down below if you've had your own experience with this. But that's about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.